So, greetings from COP27, of, uh, thousands of people, some 35,000 physically present, really here to push, push for ambition, pu push for acceleration, push for finance, and land a pathway forward with real loss and damage within it. Sharm el Sheikh shifts us to implementation. Now, some of the highlights from the first week, yes, a lot of focus on finance. The Secretary General released his report on net zero and the legitimacy on some of these net zero claims that are made by private entities, as well as guidelines for how to make it done. It is a fundamental question of international solidarity and climate justice. And when it comes to methane, which we know is a really potent greenhouse gas, which we need to bring down because doing so will give us a little bit of a break while we decarbonize our economies and get CO2 out of them. We have launched the Methane Alert and Response System, Mars, and that is a big contributor to making sure that we can detect and observe what's happening pertaining to methane leaks. These are the kind of issues that are being discussed. But let's be very, very clear, poor countries are hard hit by climate change and it's not getting any better. As long as we do not decarbonize our economies, they will keep paying the price. So we need to see loss and damage. We need to see the 100 billion on the table. So far, 83, we need to hit that floor. But remember that that is only the floor. Climate change is here now at 1.1 degrees. We are here at COP27 pushing for common ground common purpose, common solidarity, finance, loss and damage. Let's get it done.